some of you who have you know spent some time um, dealing with Metastock or using Metastock or been to any of our presentations, there's some things you should know about us. I just want to give you a little bit of background if you're not aware. Uh, there's a lot of charting programs out there. None of them have been around certainly as long as we have. We've been around for more than 30 years and for a long time if you wanted to do any charting at all there was only Metastock. We essentially invented it for your computer. <laughs> we didn't invent charting. That's been around for a hundred years. Uh, you know, doing it on pencil and paper and using your protractor and your graph paper. That's been around for a long time. Uh, but Metastock, we, we were kind of the first innovators of making a program out of it. Metastock um, has been around nearly as long or even you know, depending on which uh, timeline you're looking at, longer than companies like Microsoft. And so in the early days of technical trading in the, on your computer, you know, you had pretty much every major educational guru, like a John Bollinger, um, for example. These, these people who invented some of what we would call classical technical indicators. These are all um, Metastock guys. These are people who have basically built their strategies and their indicators, their systems, their tools were built right there in Metastock and they're still to this day very big Metastock users and supporters. And Metastock has really grown over the years. And uh, <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci did not invent Metastock, <laughs> but he certainly invented a lot of the principles by which are used in Metastock. I really like that comment, Arthur. Um, it's a really powerful program. <laughs> and the helicopter too. Um, and that's what I want to do today is talk about it and show you what we do. Um, we really we really appeal to a very wide cross-section of, of technical analysts and traders. Everything from the very highest of the professional level, uh, individuals who are trading huge accounts and managing billions of dollars, all the way down to the self-directed trader. I and myself am part of that group as well. I trade my own investments and I probably fit into the category of a lot of you who where I spend about a half hour to 45 minutes every day on analyzing my current positions, scanning the market looking for new opportunities and testing where I'm at, uh, making sure I'm following my systems. So I hope I can kind of do two things here today. One is I really want to unfold to you in, in not very much time, unfortunately, unfold to you the best I can uh, the power of Metastock and why it's been such an enduring program and why we've been around so long and why people like us so much. I want to make sure I can kind of blow our horn and show you how powerful the program is. And number two, I want to show you um, from my perspective as a trader some of the things that I do. And I hope that that will be helpful to you. I'm happy to take your questions as well. Probably not so much in the body of this message, but towards the end. And we'll go through it together. Um, so let's just start with Metastock and what it offers. There's really three primary tools in Metastock that have made us famous. Uh, the reason why people use us and why institutions um, have clung to us for so long. One is basically it's we kind of put this whole charting uh, set up together, uh, very, very easy to use so that you can pull pretty much any chart for any instrument out there. And so within Metastock, you know, as you would expect from any charting program, you could simply type in a symbol like IBM and you can pull that chart right open. Now I've got a couple of templates here. I'm just going to go ahead and put a clean template on so you can just see. And let's just work with Metastock in a very simple and basic way for those of you who are not real familiar with it. One of my favorite features in Metastock, uh, yes, this is an end of day chart. This is a daily chart, but we could just as well switch this over to any periodicity. Down at the bottom here, this little D, we could switch it to a minute, five minute chart, for example. So now these bars are showing us five minute increments instead of daily. Uh, but one of my favorite features in Metastock is that you can pretty much right click on anything and make a change to it and fit it into what you want to see. <coughs> Excuse me, everybody. So let's say instead of seeing bars, we'd like to see candlesticks. And that's generally what I like to look at. It's a little bit different for everybody. Um, but it's very much like you'd expect from a Windows-based program where you can right-click on something and find options to change things. For example, 
we could right click in just an empty place here and in Metastock this is something that most programs do not have the ability to do but you can in Metastock instead of just trading the, or uh, charting rather the high low open and close in a chart you can actually go in and change those fields so if we wanted to see the volume weighted average price or the VWAP which would be it lately is very very popular to be looking at <coughs> you have to excuse me everybody I've got a little bit of a dry throat here so instead of charting it just on the high, low, open, and close, we can actually chart this five-minute chart on the volume-weighted average price. So depending on what your needs are, whether it's daily, whether it's the charting style, whether it's the, um, the field, we could actually chart the bid and ask if we wanted to do that. And so it really does lend itself to <laughs> as many options as you'd like. Um, I hope that's kind of what I want to make sure I, I hit on today is that Metastock can be what you want it to be. Um, I think was something very important that was said earlier today in the presentations was that you have to have a strategy going forward into your trading. I love this philosophy. I've, I've never met with a successful trader who did not have a very fine-tuned and developed strategy. And I've never seen the same strategy twice. <laughs> Everybody has their own. Um, but you don't want to be throwing darts at the dartboard. You have to have a really clear set of ideas as to what you want to accomplish and how you're going to accomplish those steps. What indicators do you use? How are you scanning the markets? How are you finding your opportunities? I mean, charting is fine and all. For the sake of charting, what what good is it if we don't have a plan? Charting is simply the, the tools. You have to have the right tools to execute your plan. One of the great advantages of Metastock is that it compiles so many tools in there, a ridiculous amount of tools, so that you can develop and fine tune your personal strategy. This is a very personal business trading. I trade very differently from the way you trade or anybody else out there. Um, and that's for a lot of reasons. One, my own personal um, temperance for risk is very different from the next person. The instruments I choose to trade that I'm comfortable with is going to be different. The time frames, I'm, I'm typically more of a position trader. I don't day trade a lot because I spend most of my days working with our um, our dealers around the world where uh, we have hundreds of Metastock software dealers that I interact with and assist and help and that's what I enjoy doing with my time so my trading is pretty much I limit myself to a, about a half an hour to 45 minutes in the evening checking on my more of a, a position type trading you may be a day trader you may be trading uh, 4x on a one minute chart so it's very, very different, and it's really important that you settle in on your own plan. Now, some of you probably have a plan. Let me know. Type in the chat box there if you feel like you have a, a plan of some kind. It doesn't have to be incredibly developed, but if you feel like you um, have some type of plan that you trade with, just let me know. Good. Is your plan perfect? Who has a perfect plan? Everybody, somebody hitting 100% of their trades? Because if you are, I, I want to. <laughs> if you are, I want to know it. <laughs> no, you're not. Um, but you can certainly win way more of your trades if you've got an excellent plan. Okay, exactly. Really well said, Bruce. The reason you're here is because you're looking to fine tune it. You want to find a plan and take that plan and make it better. All right. And Metastock can help you do that. I'm going to show you how you might approach that starting out with some of our most powerful tools. So show you a little bit about the, the actual just charting and how simple and easy it is to pull up charts. You know, if we wanted to pull up several charts, say CAT, um, the E-mini, uh, Apple, it's pretty, pretty easy to do when you just go ahead and pull up each of these charts. I've got my personal templates in here. Um, and so I'll just show you just a couple of buttons. It'll give you a little alerts according to my systems right now uh, that we can chart multiple charts at once very, very easily um, and usually over as many monitors as you'd like. I typically work off of two or three monitors to keep track of things. 
Um, but let's go ahead and clear some of these out, and I want to use um, maybe some of your examples. What are some instruments that we can do some analysis on uh, from each of you? Tell me something that's part of your your watch list or something maybe that's in your portfolio, and let's use your symbols, uh, something that you'd like to chart with, okay? All right, here we go. Oh, they're coming in fast. Okay, so gold. The euro dollar. Trade a little of that myself. Okay, let's look at some of these, and it uh, looks like I've got some analysis on some of them already. Metastock always remembers the last thing you did on some of these charts, and so it looks like somebody who is using my machine, because I don't normally use this turtle trader system. I know who did this, because he loves this system. Um, let me go ahead and just clean this off. We'll use a clean chart for the euro dollar. And let's go ahead and look at it in an intraday time frame, so maybe, maybe 30 minutes. Let's use candlesticks. Very easy to do by right-clicking it. And you can save all these features so that it pops up the same way every time, of course, just as you'd expect from a program. Now, here's where it gets kind of exciting with Metastop. There are hundreds and hundreds, gosh, I would dare say thousands and thousands of trading systems out there that people have developed over the years. Some of them are really, really good. And some of them are probably not worth the code that they're put together on. Um, that depends on the person who created it. But there's roughly 150 or so I think you would, would call standard types of indicators like a Bollinger Bands and things like that. And Metastock has all of them already. It's a stock part of the program. And up here in this drop-down box, you can see here that you can choose from you know, hundreds of existing trading systems. MACD, some of you have probably heard of. Um, classical systems. Price channel oscillators are going to be in there. Relative strength, index, volatility, standard deviation, spreads. Um, they're all going to be a, a part of Metastock. So it's very easy to hop into Metastock and use the systems and the methodologies that you're already comfortable with. And what's great about that is then you can then add systems that maybe you're not sure of that you'd like to learn more about. And this is where we really excel. Something that we do that I've noticed nobody really does is we explain ourselves. What a concept. So let's say we really wanted to understand what, what a MACD is. Maybe we use it and we like it and it's a standard part of your trading. Uh, but you'd like to know, well, why am I getting these signals? Maybe there are other systems that, uh, that I should be using in conjunction with this. So I'm going to go ahead and just add, uh, let me go ahead and back out of the euro dollar on a daily chart. Sorry, it just resized for me because I've got too many darn charts open. Let me try this one more time here. We'll start with a clean chart. There we go. And let's put it in its own box up at the top. We'll just call it a 12 period MACD. And what's nice is that if you're familiar with the MACD, great. If you understand what you're looking for, fantastic. You know, that's uh, there's a lot of training out there on that. But what Metastock will do will teach you a little bit about pretty much every indicator out there. We have this little guy here with the hat. We call our expert advisor. And somewhat of a famous tool in Metastock. And it's something that not people, people have, I think, chosen not to really try and emulate. And it's surprising to me because it's one of our most desirable features. And one of the reasons why people buy Metastock is for this little man in the hat here. When you click on him, he gives you some options. And it's on my second screen, so I'll put it over where you can see it. Right here, you're looking at, uh, essentially, this little guy is going to translate these systems. So let's put a MACD on there and attach it and close that. And now you'll see right there on the charts that the MACD that we're looking up up here, all of the buy and sell signals, according to the MACD, are just thrown right onto your chart for you. Let's go ahead and put this in a uh, candlestick. It drives me crazy to look at bars. So now, if you're familiar with the MACD, you're looking for these crossing points, are we not? Pretty classical system. Most of you have probably heard of that before, but this is translating it for us. And if we really wanted to know why we're getting a buy signal here, why is this happening? We can go into the view at the top and click expert commentary. And off to the left, you'll actually get a full disclosure of sorts um, why the MACD is bullish on this date. And I can click right over it 
and it'll tell me that little green, that little uh, black arrow right there will tell me what the MACD is saying about that bar. So today, for the last bar, I can just click right on that, and it'll tell us off to the left here what the current statistics are and whether or not it's in a bullish or bearish or overbought or oversold range, which is really what we're looking for in that MACD. Okay, and you can do this with virtually every system. And so if you're uh, accustomed to using, let's go ahead and detach that expert advisor. And that'll go away and we can go ahead and attach a different one. Let's say we want to know a little bit more about Bollinger. I'm a big Bollinger guy. I like using them a lot. And so we'll go ahead and attach Bollinger for that instead. And we have to go ahead and throw a Bollinger band on top of that, don't we? So we'll go into our indicator list where we find all these hundreds of things to choose from. We can select Bollinger bands, click it, and just drop it right there onto the prices. And it'll show us the same way if I click right there with that green arrow. It's going to tell us what the range is for Bollinger bands. It's telling us right here where we cleared that top band. Yes, you can do Heikinashi charting in Metastock, right? Craig. Um, you can go ahead and add, you know, you can click on this and it'll tell us that the Bollinger bands are, you know, what percentage they are, nor narrower than normal in this case, and really translate why we're getting that. Um, I do not know why more programs don't take the serious effort of teaching you why technical indicators do what they do. It is not voodoo. <laughs> it's not a secret. Technical charting is based on scientific data. It's why our primary users are, you know, uh, engineers and, and, and of the type. A lot of people like to know, why am I getting these scams, you know? Yeah, John, uh, it, it's got everything in there um, that, that John is using in his scams. It's one of the more um, complete packages on the market. And as I said earlier, we don't do trading education, but man, we sure support it. I'm a big believer, and we here at Metastock are really big in education. I'm always amazed at how much people don't invest in their education. We go to school. I actually have a music degree. I started my college education in music. I have a bachelor's degree in performance and then went on to finance. And I spent a fortune getting a music degree. And uh, <laughs> I always I always get a little confused when uh, when people are a little hesitant to invest in their own trading education because this is where you're really going to make a financial impact on. And it's not far that comparison of a university education to learning how to trade. You can't learn how to trade at university level. They're starting to teach technical analysis here and there, but it's a really worthy endeavor. And so we're very big in putting as many facts and putting as much information into the Metastock program as possible. So that's one area of Metastock, and I've, I've got to move on to the next because my time is ticking away so fast here, is your, just your ability to translate so many hundreds of systems. Now, I will also mention this, that if you have a trading system um, that you have an idea for, let's say you would prefer to have a different set of standards for um, the Bollinger Bands. No problem. Metastock's already set up to allow you to change every interval, change all the parameters and settings, and create any new indicator you'd like. For example, this is one of my favorite parts. And you do not have to be a programmer to do this. I'm not. I'm a musician. I cannot program. Okay? Um, but what I can do is I can create indicators in Metastock. It's really easy to do. You can actually just click New. And it'll give you a window here. You can name it, you know, my test indicator. We help you with this, guys. It's free to get on the phone with us. We'll spend four hours on the phone teaching you how to do this if you need it. We run webinars on setting up your formulas. But let's say I wanted to see everything with a uh, moving average of, I don't, I, you know, a, a exponential 45. Let's say on the high of a 45-day moving average. Um, and I could actually create uh, this indicator that, that looks just for what we do. And so if you have uh, customized education and or of your own education, you've thought, gosh, you know what? My trading is changing. 
Um, I'm dialing it in, and it, it should be changing. If it's staying still, you're not growing. Um, you're not doing exactly um, what you should be. You should be getting better. You should be going one direction or the other. And what Metasoc is famous for and why people love us is that it's a program you will never outgrow. Um, you can come into it as a brand new trader and find that you'll have everything there you'll ever need between now and the next 40 years. <laughs> Um, Charles asks, are there any astrological indicators? Not in, they don't come in the stock program, but you, as long as you have data for it, Charles, literally you could put it in. As long as you have any technical data, you can plot it and create it in Metastock, and we'll help you with that, okay? We can, we actually have several uh, educators who do some of that as well, and they're able to plot some of those things in Metastock as well. I actually heard and saw the other day somebody plot some, um, some college football statistics in Metastock. <laughs> so there's a lot you can do with it. Yes, we do have market profile, uh, Mr. Chua. That's in a, in a, a companion program we call Metastock Xena that does that. It's for our real-time users. And I'll show you a little bit of that when we get a moment. But I do want to show you what are probably our most famous set of tools, and that's our scanning utilities and our back testing. I'm not, I'm not sure anybody on the market has back testing as thorough as we do. So let's go ahead and just go back to some clean charts. Let me clean this all off. Let's go to a different chart. Uh, we'll close this one out. No, we won't show you that. We'll close this one too. We'll close this one. Somebody give me a, another one. We do have Ichimoku. Uh, okay, let's look at Facebook because I just recently made some good money on that one actually using the system I use. Let's use that. All right, so let's just start with a clean chart of Facebook. Oops, that's what I was talking about. Dot O in our system. Our symbology is slightly different from the standards. Facebook dot O. Okay, let me clean, give it a clean chart. I'm going to explain my template here if we have time, okay? I hope we do. I'm, I get going and I could talk for an hour and a half here just on one little subject. Um, let me switch this over to some candlesticks and let's just take, take a look at Facebook here. All right. Now, there, this gap up here, there are all kinds of indicators out there that are, you know we want to take a look at. And this is one that my indicators and in my system showed was common. And I think there are probably a handful of others that also saw that coming too. Uh, but it's important to be able to scan for it. And so in Metastock, when at the kind of starting stages, we can go ahead and switch to this third or second and third tab. And you have our Explorer. And this is our scanning utility. We call it an Explorer. And our System Tester, this is our back testing utility. And so let's start with an Explorer. And uh, let's say we wanted to look for, gosh, any of these that are created here come standard as a part of Metastock. And let's say we wanted to see everything uh, that is a over, and it describes it on the right, shows only securities that are in a long-term bearish trend, meaning that closing price is below a 200-day moving average. Okay, that would be long-term bearish. We do the opposite of that with the long-term bullish. We could actually, in, for consistency's sake, let's do this MACD. And so earlier we were looking at the MACD, and let's say that that happens to be your go-to system, okay? Let's say that just happens to be the one you use. It might not be, um, yeah, but let's just for example's sake, let's say that is. And you want to scan for buying and selling opportunities, overbought, oversold ranges um, by the MACD over your watch list. For heck, over the entire universe of stocks. You can go here in Metastock and select anything. And I'm going to show this. I'm going to scroll through this because there's a lot of international folks in the room here. Metastock is the most used charting software worldwide bar none. There are millions of copies in use. We wish they were all legitimate copies. <laughs> a lot of them are pirated, unfortunately. Um, but worldwide, um, there are millions of users. And by far, um, you can go into any country and uh, start talking charts and Three out of four guys will be using Metastock. Okay, Tom, you know, you, if you ask me a question, which is better, you know what I'm going to tell you. <laughs> I, 
I'll tell you Metastock every time. <laughs> I'm a little biased. Uh, I love Metastock, obviously. I, I work for Metastock, but um, you know, we want to give you a chance here today to try it, and I'll let you make that that choice. We want you to try it for free for a month. At the end here, we'll give you a link to, to download it, and I think you'll fall in love with it. Most people do. Uh, there's a reason why we've been around so long, it's, and it's also nice to know along those lines, Tom, it's very nice to know that 30 years from now, we'll still be here. There's probably 30 other charting companies that won't be here two years from now. <laughs> They'll be out of business. We've watched a lot of charting companies come and go. Um, we've been around. Yeah, MetaTrader is a different company. They've sure been leveraging our brand name for many years. <laughs> um, we've, we've been around about uh, 20 years longer than them. All right. Um, the yeah, we can go ahead and throw that link on there for those of you who can't stick around. It's just metastock.com/tradingpub, and you'll see there an opportunity to give us a try for 30 days for free. And there's the link right there for those of you who who can't stay with us the whole the whole time. Uh, give it a try. You'll, most people stick with it. Actually, our retention rate is very very high. Um, so let's go back to this here and show once again our scanning utility. So let's say we wanted to uh, look at, we could scan the Bombay Stock Exchange, we could scan the, uh, the Vietnamese markets, we could scan pretty much every country and every index you can think of in the world. All right. Um, I want to uh, let you know that our data feed itself comes from Thomson Reuters and we recently actually just separated from them as a business uh, in uh, entity, uh, meaning that we keep their data, but now they've kind of allowed us to have a little more latitude to develop the products and create new tools, and that's what we're doing. We're actually about to introduce some very exciting tools. Um, and, and this is very interesting, and I actually will call this out, Rory. I appreciate that a lot. I appreciate you saying that because it's something we want to know. But our um, our uh, support side and our customer service is actually really famous for being very, very helpful. So I'm sorry that you didn't have a good experience. We certainly want to make that right for you. And I'll leave my personal contact details right here in the chat box, Rory. I'd be happy to discuss that with you as well. There you go. Yeah, Reuters Trader is the professional version. Uh, we have we are focused entirely and 100% on the retail market. And so, if you are a professional trader, you would actually get that from Reuters directly. You wouldn't get that from us. Uh, same tool set though. So we could go through and scan through pretty much any market we would like. Why, why don't we just go ahead and scan a U.S. index for the MACD right now? Uh, let's just do the S&P 100. We'll go ahead and start, and it's going to run through those 100 right now and tell us exactly whether or not we're getting buy or sell signals on a MACD and tell us if it's overbought and oversold ranges. Go to reports, and this is the report that it pulled up on my other screen. I'll bring it over, and it does look like we have a single buy opportunity based on the last trading day and four selling opportunities, nobody's in a overbought or oversold range. That would make sense considering what's going on right now. All right, so all state, let's take a look at it and open the chart. Okay. And according to our MACD, let me get a clean chart. And I promise I will explain that template, you guys. That's the one I use. I told you I'd show you a little bit of my own trading style in there. Let's go ahead and plot a MACD on there and test it out and see what it's you know what it's telling us. We just scanned for it, and we could we could have just scanned for pretty much anything out there that you want. We could have scanned for any one of these type of systems, but we also could have created our own and scanned for that as well. And let's attach our expert advisor. And there it is. It's telling us, yes, the MACD just crossed above its signal line. We would expect that because that's what we were searching for. Okay. Um, Ted, I'm not sure how I can make the screen any bigger on my end. I, I think within your own system there, in the um, 
webinar room, there should be an icon at the top that you should be able to press and it should, I think, increase the size of your own screen. Yeah, it has like four arrows. There it is. Yeah. And so I hope what you're seeing here is, as we go through this exercise, is that Metastock is incredibly easy to use and to use it in as many ways as you like. Um, we really hope that that is <laughs> the message you take away from this and the reason why we've been around so very long and have been so utilized. The back testing we haven't even touched on and I want to do that too real quick before we go into some of the um, positions that uh, that I've been analyzing and I just want to throw it out there and see what you think. All right, system testing. This is where we're incredibly different from a lot of programs out there. Uh, if we wanted to do a system test on any of these, let's do a Bollinger Band system test. Uh, let's do this expert system. It says a description off to the right what it is that we're looking for. And it's patterned after the rules written by John Bollinger. He actually wrote this particular system test. When we go next, and what we can do is it, system testing can go to two directions. We can either test a grouping of stocks. And so let's say I have a group of, you know, 100 instruments, S&P 100 again, or NAS, let's do the NASDAQ. And we'll look for both long trades and short trades. And so what we're going to do, and if you're familiar with how backtesting works, backtesting is a simulation. Okay. What we're doing is we're taking Bollinger Bands over the NASDAQ 100. Each 100 of these securities is being looked over for the last 1,000 trading days. That's roughly four and a half years of trading period. And I started out with, I think I programmed in, the default is about, I believe the default is $10,000 of equity. And so we're saying that if we had taken that amount and spread 10,000 each over the 100, which is kind of a ridiculous scenario because none of us in this room are probably going to be able to spend that kind of money. But if we had taken that money and put it on these stocks using only the Bollinger Band trading system buys and sells, then these would be the results of our investments over that period of time. Let me go ahead and separate these by net profit. These were the most profitable stocks using Bollinger Bands over that period of time. These were the dogs. These were the losers. Now this is, this is an interesting bit of information. What would we do with this information? It's interesting to know that NVIDIA, if I had followed Bollinger Bands buy and sell signals over the last five years religiously using that equity, I would have made 117%. Okay. That's a nice view backwards, isn't it? Well, there's a couple things to take into account with that. Um, where were my stops? And I could actually put stops into this. I can create a very in-depth and realistic scenario based on my trading. I can actually go in and say how much equity I would put into that. So, and you're right, it is interesting, isn't it, Hamad, what we can do here. This is pretty valuable information. I could turn around and run this same test over, instead of the last five years, I could run this over the last five months and see if the Bollinger Band has been really responding to NVIDIA lately or if it just kind of all happened a few years ago. In fact, if we double click on it, we'll get tons of information on it. So if I would just bought and hold over that same period of time using, using um, that same amount of equity, I still would have made 12%. Using Bollinger Bands, I would have made 117%. This is my favorite tab. This tells me what I need to know, is that most of that money I made using Bollinger Band system was back about four years ago. Now that's critical, and that's why we run scans like this or back tests like this over multiple time frames, okay? <laughs> Tony, we are working on that tool, actually. <laughs> we're working on a really, really cool uh, tool that, that we're hoping to release soon that takes into account major patterns in the past and actually will try to forecast forward. Um, that, that's a really cool tool. But what we're looking at right now and the reason why going backwards can be so helpful to you is because not every stock responds to every trading system. 
This is why we have so many thousands of trading systems out there. If I really like a MACD and I find, or let's use this example, let's go back to our summary. Let's say I really like having um, the, uh, the, the Bollinger Bands, and this is my go-to system, or some, I could actually create a set of parameters like, uh, like John did earlier. He's using Bollinger Bands and this, that, and the other, these different things that he uses in one. We could actually create a back test that just looks for that entire subset. Um, well, it's good to know, going back, that NVIDIA responded well to that, you know, over certain time frames. But guess what? The ones at the bottom here did not respond well to that trading system. However, I could run in a completely different set of systems right now, and maybe Netflix is, responds better to that, okay? You can also do these searches by sector. Uh, sector instruments tend to respond similarly. Um, now, Bruce, thank you for leading me to my next point. I appreciate that. The system tester can actually test several indicators at the same time. So we can go the other direction with this. Let's do that. This is pretty cool. So let's say we have lots of systems that we like, and Bollinger Bands is one of them. So let's take that. Let's take a MACD. Let's take a relative strength. Let's do a stochastic oscillator. Um, Connors, Turtle Trader. Well, let's do that. So we have multiple systems now, and let's just take a small grouping of stocks. Let's take Apple, Adobe, Autodesk. We won't just do A's. We'll do Netflix. We'll do you know all these. We could choose anything from our own list. Click Next. And let's do it over the same period of time. And, and let's look at it from that standpoint now. So now we're not looking at a whole range, you know, the universe of stocks on one system. We're actually looking at seven or eight systems. I can't remember how many we just did. So here we go. Now look at this summary. We're not looking at stocks here, are we? Let's look at best profit or, or average gain. Let's do that. So now we're looking at over you know, our range of stocks. We could say that this, the stochastic oscillator was the best. Um, so now we're actually ranking systems over our you know, our custom list of stocks. It's pretty cool. Um, the back tester is so, so incredibly thorough. Um, you can have a lot of fun with it. If you're an engineer or if you're mathematically inclined, this would be like uh, your favorite Christmas toy. But if you're just like me and you're not a, uh, a programmer, you're a trader, and you're just, you know, you're looking to uh, find systems that work well for you, it's not that hard to use. Heck, we'll teach you. It's in our best interest to make, make sure you know how to use our tool sets. Um, that our, our users tend, tend to stick with us a long time. It's like Rory said earlier, Rory, you were with us for 12 years. For some reason, it worked well for you. And, and unfortunately, something must have happened from a customer service point where you decided, you know, you're looking around. We want to fix that, obviously. But our primary customer base tends to stick around with us a very long time for that reason. We give you a great system, a great set of tools, and we really want to support it. And we'll be here. We always will be. We're never going to go away. At least, you can't, I guess you can't say never, but I mean, we've been here for 30 years. We intend to be here another 30 for you. Um, that's a brief overview, you guys, of, of Metastock. Something else that we, um, I want to show you before I run out of time, I only got about 10 minutes, is this trading system that Metastock has. It's exclusive to Metastock. And if you've ever been in any of my presentations, you've seen it because it's my go-to system, and uh, I really like it. Um, it's called the RMO, and the Rahul Mohindar Oscillator is a trend-following system. And I just want to show you, give you about 10 minutes of, of how I would kind of research my positions. Uh, and uh, this would be, I think, a real typical exercise of a Metastock user who trades like I do, you know, is looking for a good daily position. Um, the RMO is based on this top indicator here, and I'm just going to open it up so you can see it. It's really easy to use. One of the reasons why it's so popular and why people actually come to Metastock for this indicator and this, this system uh, specifically is because it's very easy to translate. Um, it shouldn't be technical uh, or too overly technical. Some people, I guess if, unless you really like a very confusing looking chart and that fits how you think and how your mind works, great, go for it. You could do that in Metastock. <laughs> I have to keep things kind of simple. <laughs> it works better for me. Um, this is a really easy one to read. If it is above the zero line, it is bullish. 
It appears below the zero line. It is bearish. That's really easy to determine. Um, that's the first indicator. Indicators number two and three are these swing trades, two and three. And similarly, pink line is our short-term trend. And if it is above zero, it is bullish. But if it is below zero, it is bearish. So I'm looking for three correlating factors, three agreeing signals. I have two for a bullish run because we have the pink line above zero and we have the green histogram above zero. The third agreeing factor for this system are these crossing points. Anytime, we have a lot of drawing tools in Metastock. I'm going to grab one here so I can show you. Anytime we have the blue line crossing through the pink line or, back, or vice versa, we have a shift in momentum. And that's that's uh, indicator number three. And we have it in this case. Right now, Allstate is showing a buy. This is, I think this was Allstate, was it not? It was. So Allstate is showing a buy based on this because we have agreement of the three indicators. We have a crossing point between the blue and pink. We have the pink line above the zero. And we also have, in the primary indicator, the green histogram is above zero. That's a buy. And sure enough, that's why we have this nice little buy arrow telling us that it's going that direction. Let's look in the past and see if it's worked well recently. Well, let me grow this a little bit so we can see it well. Um, yeah, worked really well here. That arrow indicated that we had a crossing point. There it is. Now, do we have all three in agreement right now? Not at the moment. Back here on, what day was this? This was, let me hover on it. Back on the 9th, we had a big shift in momentum. The short-term trend went right above that blue line. That, if I had been scanning that day, this would have told me to keep an eye open for this. It wouldn't be a buy yet, but it'd say, watch for it. And I would. I'd put that in my little list that I watch every night. And actually, I do remember bumping into this, uh, this Allstate back then, because that's a scan I run every night. Uh, I didn't take it because I, my equity was maxed out would like to have taken it, and I would have made some money. Um, looks like two, three days later, if we look at this indicator, that pink line jumped up over the yellow line, OK? That's telling us that we have one of our agreements, right? And then at the same day, the green histogram went over too. So we had one, two, three in agreement, not on the day of the crossover, but three days later. That's where the buy is. So that blue arrow doesn't necessarily mean it's buy now. It means, watch out, here comes something. Something might be happening. And it looks like it's had very good agreement. It doesn't hit 100%. Nothing does. Bruce, RMO stands for Rahul Mohindar Oscillator, the name of the gentleman who designed it. Uh, he's a um, Rahul is a trader in India. He's, a, he's actually very uh, well known in the Asia Pacific um, he's uh, usually on the CN CNBC and the CNN finance channels out there, but he developed this system. He's a huge Metastock guy, and he, <laughs> I agree with Jack, Congress is way overbought. Um, but he, he designed this for Metastock. He's a big Metastock guy, and we bought it from him. We asked him if we could have it, and it's exclusively available in Metastock. This alone is worth trying Metastock for 30 days. Um, most people who try it really like it. It works great for stocks. It works great for uh, futures. It works great on Forex pairs. Um, it works on all different types of time frames. Okay? Um, so it's very versatile, and it's really easy to use. And guess what? You can scan on it. And here's the scan I would pretty much perform every day uh, when I'm doing my trading. I go to my Explorer. And I scroll down and I look for RMO. I like these bullish um, reports. And so let's go ahead and look for, well, let's look for anything that's going kind of approaching the, uh, the, the blue range. Let's go anything that's kind of approaching a, a bullish zone so that I would keep an eye on it. I run these two different scans every night in addition to some others. Uh, let's, run it on the, uh, let's run it on the NASDAQ 100 right now and see what it gets us. 
And this is a scan that I would have written or uh, that I actually do every night. But this is one where uh, I mentioned earlier that Facebook trade popped up. And this, this definitely uh, put me into that trade. I found that it worked very well. So it looks like we have a couple. We have three, actually. Let's open all three of them. This is just scanning across the uh, just 100 stocks, okay? That's not a very wide scan. We could do this over the entire universe of stocks or instruments that you'd like, okay? Bruce and Jack, I'm not going to bite on political today. <laughs> Too divisive. All right, so we're looking at uh, F5 Networks right now says watch out, and this is why. Because look, we're approaching a crossing point right here. So this would be something to watch for. We're not quite there, but guess what? We are over the zero line on the pink line. And we are over the zero line in the primary histogram. So we have two of our three in agreement. So I would probably put that on my watch list. Really nice looking trade that started developing down here. It lags a little bit. Um, I, I probably would have been tempted to jump into that a little early, depending on if your risk is, uh, um, depending on how you feel about risk. I have several uh, users that I work with um, who simply trade these arrows. And gosh, if you look at this chart, you would have been fine trading these arrows. This one missed entirely, right? It's not perfect. Look at that gap down. It's not perfect. Um, we'll be the first ones to tell you that, okay? Let's look at that other one real quick before we have to go. Okay. Hmm, pretty sideways. I'd watch on this one real carefully because you see how that indicator is kind of crossing around and back and forth. That's not very exciting to me, but that's good. It's good to know that I can rule that out right now. However, down before, this one performed. Gosh, this was an awesome call right here. Let's look at it. Use our drawing tools. Everything was agreement on the same day. I love that. Okay. And so we have here this crossing point right there. And we had everything above the zero. Very clear and easy to see it. That yes, we were in agreement. Wow. Excellent trade. We would have taken it at that trade would have been taken at uh, somewhere at the 97 range. And, uh, and this is a daily chart. The rules are all the same, you guys, when you do this on an intraday basis. Okay. Um, Dave, can you use RMO on tick and range charts? You know, Metastock, we're actually developing it to have range charts soon. Right now, it does not have uh, range bars, Michael. You can do it on a minute-to-minute -minute basis, however. But for those of you who are range traders, uh, give us a couple more months. That's coming out soon. So. Uh, that we definitely hear our users, uh, and some of them have been asking for that, and we're going to put that in the program eventually here pretty soon. All right. Well, you guys, I, I really appreciate your time. Um, I think I could have spent another four hours uh, going over the virtues of Metastock. Um, Janice, just to ask, answer your question real quickly, yes, I can change this to, to show the symbol. You see at the top bars here, all I can do is just right-click, and I can go into the chart window properties. And I can have it say the symbol at the top if I want. So now it actually shows the symbol at the top instead of the last trade price. Bottom line is this, you guys. Metastock can become whatever you need it. Okay? It is designed around being very customizable. We realize that not everybody has the same trading system. In fact, we, we anticipate everybody should have a different trading system because we're all individuals. Give Metasock a shot. I think you're going to find it to be very useful to you. We want to work with you. I'm going to put my, my contact details once again up here. It's dave.osmond at metastock.com. If you have questions, you feel free to email me. I'm happy to give you a call and discuss it with you. But visit our site at metastock.com slash trading pub. Sign up for a free trial. You can sign up for either the end of day version of Metastock or the real-time version of Metastock. And I think you're going to find, like most people do, that it's really helpful to you. Um, it's all about finding new confidence. It's all about moving in a little better direction every day. That's why you're here. That's why you come to these events, which I think the pub is probably the best portal. It's the best location for traders to go and learn new ideas and grow.
So we're really pleased um, to uh, invite you to do it. We hope we'll see you. Charles, uh, thank you for your questions. And uh, those of you who are very vocal, I really appreciate that a lot. And uh, have a terrific weekend. Best of luck in all your trades. We wish you nothing but the success that you deserve. And hopefully we can help you be a part of that. Thanks, everybody. Have a great one.